The COVID-19 pandemic has finally loosened its grip on the aviation industry. Travel restrictions have been lifted and passenger numbers are on the rise. That's the good news. The bad news is that we now have supply chain challenges, increased costs, and geopolitical instability. As we prepare to enter 2023, where does the aviation industry stand? We're at MRO Europe in London to find out. I think the aviation industry is on its way back. I don't think we're fully there. And there's some countries that haven't fully opened their borders up yet, which is constraining capacity. But we are seeing very, very full flights and a very, very high demand for air travel. There is still a huge untapped market in the world. We in the West probably view aviation as saturated because we think of Europe, we think of America, where flying is just normalized. But it's not so across the world. So there is also emerging markets that will have a demand The biggest uh, opportunity for the industry as a whole is overcoming these supply chain issues and thinking outside of the box. I think the normal and the standard solutions don't really work anymore. Considering the supply chain conditions and limitations that we have today, we have to be um, very purposefully taking action on maximizing the hardware that we have available. What can we do to extend li life of the part, um, de develop repairs in a faster way? I think many have used the COVID era as a crisis for Catalyst and reset the foundation of their business, which is a perfect opportunity to apply the right kinds of technologies within the MRO environment. Being able to make our operations more efficient and standardize our work, improve throughput and productivity, I think is a really important theme for us going forward. The world's focus on the environment means that we, as an industry, have to change. We have to modernize, we have to change our equipment, we have to come up with new processes. No matter whether you're talking about a paperless MRO or you're talking about green aircraft fuel, there's an opportunity for air framers, airlines, component OEMs and MROs to all work together for a, a much safer and better environment and have a green lens on, on everything that they do. There's still a theme there about competing against each other and we really need to find a way to work through this to serve our, because we all ultimately have common customers and ultimately the, the customer at the end of the day is ourselves. We, we want to fly and we want our flights to be on time and we want to pay the lowest price possible. My competitors are my partners and there's enough space for us to all open up data, work together, focus on our key, key core competencies and create a safe space where everybody can really partner and make the best of each other for the sake of the industry and the customer experience.